she stood out in a crowd with a shock of white hair that earned her the family nickname Silver Fox. It was part of Barbara Bush's determination to be herself, as she recalled in 2004 for a PBS documentary. The future first lady was born Barbara Pierce in New York City in 1925 to Marvin and Pauline Pierce. Her father was president of the McCall Corporation of Red Book and McCall Magazine fame. The family lived in Rye, New York, where Barbara grew up with three siblings. From there, she went off to Smith College. But in 1945, she dropped out to marry George Bush, who was on leave from the Navy. They had met four years earlier. The couple moved to Texas in 1948 with their first child, a son, George W. He was soon joined by a sister, Robin but she developed leukemia and died at the age of three, a tragedy that reshaped the family. Three other children followed, and Barbara went on to oversee a total of 27 moves as her husband's career took him around the world. From Texas, where he built his fortune in the oil fields, to politics and public life. In the 1960s and 70s, Barbara was by his side for two losing U.S. Senate bids, a winning campaign for a U.S. House seat, and stints as U.N. ambassador, chair of the Republican Party, and CIA director. In 1980, he ran for president and ultimately ended up as Ronald Reagan's running mate. As a political spouse, Barbara Bush's wry sense of humor endeared her to many. But she later acknowledged it didn't suit everyone. That tendency caused her trouble in 1984, when she referred to Geraldine Ferraro, the Democratic vice presidential nominee, as something that, quote, rhymes with rich. Mrs. Bush quickly apologized. She remained plain-spoken after her husband won the White House for himself in 1988. Right from the start, the new first lady set a new tone, downplaying fashion, for instance, in sharp contrast with her predecessor, Nancy Reagan. In 1989, she even wore camouflage gear on a trip to Saudi Arabia during the first Gulf War to visit with U.S. troops at Thanksgiving. Mrs. Bush also made dogs a fixture in the first family's life. Millie, their Springer Spaniel, had the run of the White House. Millie produced a famous litter of puppies, displayed before the Washington Press Corps when they were just a few days old. In time, Mrs. Bush was inspired to write a best-selling children's work titled Millie's Book. She reminisced about it in 2012 at the George W. Bush Presidential Library. Writing her own book was just part of a larger campaign for literacy in America. Barbara Bush took an active role in several literacy organizations, including the one she founded. But when it came to her husband's presidency, the first lady turned political fighter. She staunchly defended his failed re-election bid in 1992 in a NewsHour interview at the Republican National Convention.
Eight years later, she was back campaigning again, this time for her son, George W. Bush, in his 2000 presidential run. Here she was in New Hampshire. Thank you for all you're doing for our boy. And in 2016, she campaigned yet again in New Hampshire with another son, Jeb, as he made his ultimately failed bid for the Republican nomination. Mrs. Bush made one of her last public appearances in March with her husband and presidential scholars in College Station, Texas. Campaigner, literacy advocate, first lady, mother and wife, and as her family described Barbara Bush, their linchpin.